All right, greetings from Jim AG Six IF. Playing with Windlink today. I've got a, a interesting uh, chain of events going on here. I have a Kenwood D seventy two A HT, and that little radio will do. Win will do uh, packet radio. So I uh, got it connected to my laptop. By the way, this is my my Windows machine, but I'm remote desktop into it. I'll show it to you in a second. So my uh, D seventy two is plugged into the side of the USB port and I've got it uh, turned on here in WinLink and uh, those are my settings uh, maximum frames are 2 perform, um, maximum packet length you want to stay below 128 so I'd, I put it at 64 it works pretty good and let me do the update and get out of the screen so uh, so anyway uh, I can't get to the VHF WinLink gateway directly because it's just a little HT with a rubber duck inside the car by the way this machine is inside my mobile and I'm here in the shack and I'm remote desktop into it because it's hot outside how about that all right let me get the drink out of the way there the lemonade okay so here's what I'm doing I'm going to NA6WR-10 which is a local gateway the Winlink VHF packet gateway Jim runs it a friend of mine but I can't get there with the rubber duck. So I have my own packet station. It's right here. 14505. It's just been sitting there for many years running and uh, enjoy local packet radio. So how I get to the HT, from the HT, I bounce through my packet station. My packet station, even on low power, uh, it has a AG6IF 3DFL antenna. And I can get to Jim's gateway. So here we go. Uh, Winlink. So come over here and hit start. And you'll see some uh, activity here. So we're going to pick up the HT's little rubber duck on my packet station here. Second here, it'll start going. Let me, uh, might have to turn the volume up so you can hear a little bit. Okay, so we're going to pop, we're going to hop through. Should connect. Okay, there we go. So that handshake is starting up. You can see the green and red lights for transmit and receive. Come back over to the screen here. This guy is connected and it's going to go check my Winlink box, which I believe I've emptied it. All my outgoing mail is zeroed out and so forth. So. I'm going to watch both of these at the same time, maybe. Checking, uh, it's checking the box, going out on the internet, doing all that background stuff. So the nice thing about that Kenwood D72 is I can turn the power down all the way, down to like 0.1 watts, I think is the minimum. So the battery lasts a long time. So it won't take but a second here. This will be uh, done. It'll disconnect. So it goes from the HT rubber duck to my station here, which is on the property, and uh, retransmits out using this uh, uh, AC2600. Uh, to get over to the local gateway on VHF. Now I prefer to uh, use pack or mesh mesh networking, Arden Mesh, uh, if possible. It's much faster, or HF's much slower, but I've got the HF capability too. And then uh, as soon as this finishes, we'll go take a look at the uh, the mobile. Here. So everything that comes off the rubber duck gets retransmitted in both directions. A lot of handshaking going on there. Oh, it looks like I am going to get a message back in. All right, download messages. Let's go ahead and do that. I did send a message a little while ago. So it's going to go retrieve a... 
you reply to an earlier message that I sent. And it looks like it might be from our Aries coordinator, Mark. You can daisy chain up to two packet stations away from your uh, location. Uh, right there. That's how you do that. So my dash seven is this box right here that you're seeing. It's not real fast, but it works. That's the important part. There's still a lot of packet radio around in Southern California, here, so you can uh, you can easily make a connection. Um, there's still some packet nets out there. The packet's coming back because all new hams. So if you're interested in packet, pick yourself up a Cantronics and uh, the 2600 Yaesu is perfect. It's a single bander, it's two meters, it's really rugged and it has a data port on the back. So the connection becomes very easy to accomplish. So each chunk of data has to be sent and retransmitted through the store and forward type arrangement. That's how packet works. And you can string a bunch of packet stations together and go a long ways to get from your location to a destination somewhere else. I jump on a used to jump on a Sunday night packet net in Breckenridge uh, from here in Southern California near San Diego. I had to hop through two or three mountaintop stations. The packets take a little longer, but uh, it does work. It's fun. There's a little chat in it. I've done some videos about that. If you're interested, look back in my YouTube channel and see what see if we can find that. So the receive transmission that has a full SWR is from the uh, HT in the driveway. And the other one is probably from the other station. My destination station. Oh, it's still working on the message. Receiving. Closer. You can see the progress bar here. APRS transmitter here in the shack also and that was just sending out a weather report from Australia for some reason. So when that transmitter's on, this transmitter can't hear anything because the antennas are fairly close to each other. this ping pongs back and forth getting close to being completed okay the bar is completed Link checks on error, okay. I've not seen a link error before. I'll have to see what causes that. It's most likely from the other transmitter here. So this is going to, um, it's still gonna be waiting in my inbox the next time I try this. 
I do believe. Yeah. Okay. So we had we had errors in the transmission. There's nothing in the inbox. So we'll try that again. Let me. I want to show you my um, my setup in the mobile rig. I've just got the uh, computer sitting on the center console, and let's have a look real quick. All right, here we go. Out outside. Hot day in Southern California here. I got plenty of antennas on the expedition here. 2.4 gigs on down to HF. All right, so here we are with the computer center console. There's my 72, my D72 right there, just playing with rubber duck and. Works just great in a pinch. It will allow me to have VHF packet wind link here also without having a separate TNC. So, all right, there we go. Thanks for watching AG6IF here. And have a great day, 7 3.